advanced creators. Pathfinding is everywhere in Second Life. With Pathfinding, you can easily create artificial life forms and non-player characters without added lag due to performance throttling. Join us in building a new future for Second Life, alive with new possibilities that you create. In this tutorial video, we're going to animate a four-legged critter. Shown here is the wolf, and we're in edit mode, so we can see the root prim is a, is a prism, and its x-axis is pointing in the direction of motion. So now we're doing a simple test where we've put a pursue script in the wolf, and we're seeing that the wolf is moving properly in the direction that it is facing. So now we're going to stop that script by adding an LL delete character utility script and also setting the pursue script to not running. Now we add the prim animation script. This is called the super prim animation script. You can find it on Google very easily. So you escape, click your character, and you get the dialog box in the upper right. You click the name button and it tells you which channel you, it has assigned to you. Then you then you click slash 675 stand return if, if channel 675 was assigned. The stand button appears. We can then click record and the stand button again to capture the stand animation which is right out of the box. Now we are in edit linked mode in the edit tool and we are moving the legs to the position of the right step. So in this position, the left legs are apart, and now we're on the right side. So we're going to move the right legs together. And this stimul simulates the motion of crawling. You want to give that a try just to understand it better. Okay. We're using the uh, control key to bring up the rotation circles, handles. Okay, so now we click the name button again. Slash 611 is our channel, so slash 611 right, return. Now the right button appears. We click record, we click right, and we've captured the right animation. Now let's move the prims again, this time to represent the position of the left step. So this means that the right legs are going to be apart, and so we're rotating and we're moving the appendage back into its socket. We go over to the other side. Now we're going to move the left legs together. So we shift click because these are, th are th uh, three articulations in each appendage here. So it's a little extra work, but it's a higher quality character. And so we click, shift click, shift click. Now we get the whole thing. Then we control key, rotate and move it back in the socket. Now we have the position. Now we click the name button again. This time slash 611 space left return. Left button appears. Click record. Then left. We have captured all of our animations. Now we click the note card button which is in the middle and it generates a set of movement positions in the local chat using LL Owner Say. So we create a blank note card called Movement with capital M. We copy the positions. That This will include the, the object name at the beginning of each line. Paste it into the Movement note card. We, uh, I'll stretch it out here and we're going to trim it right at the beginning so that it starts out with the line that says Start. And we save it and we move it into our character and then we have made our positions persistent. So now we can reset the scripts and everything will be working. Okay, so now we move in the walking controller script, make sure that it's running. And what this does is it sends left and right messages to our character and then stand messages when it's not moving. Now we move in a pursue script now we're a pathfinder that's walking. We have created an artificial life form. This technique applies to any type of critter. 
check out our free scripts on the Second Life Wiki. Thank you for tuning in and turning on your creativity. Please check out our other tutorials on the Good Building Practices Wiki. Always have fun and be awesomely creative in Second Life.